Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. This YouTube channel features a pretty broad selection of content all related to things related to living in Israel at the moment and uh, things of that nature. So what I'm going to do today is uh, show folks how to type in cursive Hebrew on your computer by downloading a font and I'm going to install it to Canva. Uh, but you can install it where if you know how to install custom fonts on your computer, regardless of whether you're using uh, Mac or Windows or even the weird Linux operating system like me, uh, you can basically install a TTF font and work with it on um, any you know program on your computer, whether that's Photoshop or Google Docs on the cloud. Um, but I'm just going to use Canva because it's cross-platform and it's pretty easy to do. So this is a nice website called hebrewfont.net and as you can see they have a pretty broad selection of Hebrew fonts which is really cool because generally by default on most computers there's like one super basic ugly Hebrew font and if you're doing stuff like creating marketing collateral um, and you want to include Hebrew uh, this stuff looks an awful lot better. Um, so this is a really good website and they have a selection for handwriting font for those who don't know, and if you're watching this video, you probably do know, there's really two main fonts in use, uh, or two main forms of writing in use in Hebrew. One is the kind of block script Ashurit, generally in, in uh, Israel, written without vowels, although this is a font with vowels. Uh, but generally, this is the standard font, more exciting fonts. And then when um, Israelis are writing stuff in more casual contexts, people use a different font called Cursive Hebrew, uh, although it's called Handwriting Font here. It means the same thing. And these uh, bottom three um, scripts here on my screen fonts are all different cursive scripts. So I'm going to download one of these guys. I actually like this one. I think it's quite exciting. And I'm going to click on uh, Download. And I'm going to just fill out the capture thing here and download this font. Okay, so I've got the confirmation message and it's downloaded a zip file uh, to my computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and unzip this uh, archive. So in my computer, I'm able to look inside the archive before exporting it. And you can see it's TTF. So that's the true type font format. And you can generally work with this in pretty much um, anything as I mentioned. And that's finished. So for part two, I'm going to upload the font we just downloaded into my Canva workspace. So I've just gone ahead and created a YouTube thumbnail in Canva, 1280 by 720 pixels. And I'm just gonna look through my upload queue and I just did a video about my flight back from Turkey last week. So I'm just gonna resize this and just, you know, pretend I'm doing up a thumbnail for YouTube. So I'm gonna get it around here. And I'm going to add a text element and this is where we're going to upload our font. So on the top left in Canva, you can pull through the fonts that are installed here by default. And you also, if you have the pro Canva, uh, you have this little uploaded font thing. So you do need the, the pro paid Canva for this, but I think it's a super good investment. And again, I'm just pulling Canva here as a demo. So there's an upload a font button and I'm just gonna click on that. And then I'm going to just pop into the cursive font folder and I'm going to select the true type font here and I'm going to click on open. And then you need to just uh, confirm that you have rights to use the font uh, for the intended purpose. So just always check against the copyright page on whatever font you're installing to make sure that you have the legitimate right to use it uh, in this manner. So I'm gonna click on yes, upload anyway. This will just take a second. TTFs are really small. Uh, graphic files. Now when you're typing in uh, cursive Hebrew, it's going to be the same key mapping as typing in regular Hebrew. So I'm going to just type here, I'm swapping my keyboard layout into Hebrew, and I'm just going to type uh, Tisa le Turkia, which means flight to Turkey, Tisa le, Tur le Turkia on my keyboard. Uh, please excuse me, uh, Hebrew speakers, if I've made any really basic spelling mistakes, I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's correct. And now in my uploaded fonts, I have the Dana Yad Aleph Aleph Nor. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see we've changed out of block Hebrew font into our cursive uh, Hebrew font. And just to make this a little bit more clear, I'm going to just add a, a background so you guys can see. I'm going to put this in white so there's a bit of contrast. And I'm going to move this uh, back to the back of the canvas. And uh, now you guys can see that nice uh, Hebrew font there. So that's typing in a uh, cursive and you can type, of course, uh, anything you want. So I can type my name in Hebrew, Dani Daniel, and that's Daniel Daniel written in a uh, cursive Hebrew font. And if I choose a uh, font like Aleph, which is um, another Hebrew font uh, that's, I think, installed by default, then I can go to block Hebrew. That's Daniel and block Hebrew. 
I've been clicking on Danny Ad, I can I can get back to Danielle in cursive Hebrew. So you can replicate this process uh, that I did in Canva on pretty much any program and you can create nice uh, graphic elements for whatever you're doing, promoting something, creating flyers for social media using cursive Hebrew fonts on your computer. Hope this is helpful and thank you guys very much for watching.